Hi, welcome back to uh, Lag Free Zone, uh, Monster Prom, where we're both trying to get hot dates. Uh, with me is Slong. Howdy. And I'm Marty, and Slong is a bit of a three-way love triangle between him, Scott, and Polly, and I think he should take Scott to prom. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> get the fuck out of your own house. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, place, so we, so the celebrity we decided were Robert Downey Jr. and Tom Hanks and Casey decided. Marty said Robert. Uh, Slong said Tom, so let's find out. Tom Hanks. Yeah, Tom Hanks. Um, player order is decided based on how likely it is that the selected celebrity is secretly related to Marty. I don't know. I want to say... I don't... This You're going to have to decide which celebrity is probably more likely to be secretly related to me. I don't know much about Tom Hanks. So, what, you thought Robert Downey Jr. would be more... Mm -hmm. Oh, we're getting close. We're getting close. Last week. All right. All right. <laughs> I have not been outdoors. Me yeah, have. You haven't been in the bathroom. We'll crank on out. No, I haven't gone to the auditorium either. Then. I think I want to go outdoors. No, I legitly want to go. You broke this foot. No, because I've only been to the class, gym, and library. So yeah, this isn't outdoors. Yo, dabbing. <laughs> Just dab on the haters, bro. That day during recess, you start a half-hour rave that goes full crazy. You have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one point there are like 300 people. What? Someone summons demons from a nightmare dimension. The consequence might distort the fabric of reality itself. But who cares? It's a rad party. You game play. Jesus, my fun meter is just up there. You can't. Uh, I just. I don't even know. I just keep catching her. You catch Miranda monologuing about her problems to no one. She often does this. It's like she's accustomed to having a royal scribe following her everywhere she goes. Someone's playing something, my bad. Oh, whatever shall I do about my army? Don't you have robots now? We haven't had a proper war in months and the soldiers are becoming ever so anxious. I've tried sending the servants to give them tummy rubs and even putting extra leaves and sticks in their cages, but they just kill the servants with sticks. I never thought managing an entire batch of the military would be so challenging. How can I possibly keep my soldiers entertained? I... I... First one. Yeah, because I don't need any more fun, as fun as I am. Divide them in half and make them... yeah, okay. Crazy idiot. <laughs> Miranda seems to like the idea and immediately skips off to organize an adorable little practice war. Within the hour, however, she calls you up weeping. God damn it! The poor deers love their practice war. They love it too much. It only took them ten minutes to ask Scully to tactical... Oh, God. Nuclear warfare, and now the little darlings are dead. All dead. Oh, I just knew it was a bad idea. Crossbreed orcs with prof What the fuck? With professional wrestling. Now I have to breed a whole new army. I tried to cheer Miranda up, but she breaks down sobbing, which is a problem, so I my... I'm never trusting you ever again. Uh, I mean... Oh, fuck you. Yeah, Slong. Alright, Slong, where are you going? Uh, so, like, are me and her dating? Is that the idea? Do I have a girlfriend before you? That's a first. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck, that day while rehearsing for the class play, it's as though the uh, themselves have descended to give you a figurative pull to God. Bloat. What? Your performance is intense and inspiring. It will be remembered for generations, which is pretty rad by high school play standard. I'm getting blowed up? I guess you, you gain plus two creativity. I give myself a blowed up? Sure, I don't know. One tow truck, two tons of rocket fuel, and three gallons of whiskey later. You, Jesus Christ. You and Damien again, by the way, are ready to fly. You actually, you guys are still doing this. Are ready to fly <laughs> space and punch off. the sun. I just sun. figured it'd die off. What oh, the fuck, fuck Thanos? <laughs> 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 fuck Thanos. Looks like everything's packed. I've got the beef jerky, sandwiches, my son punching gloves, and I even renamed the ship. It's worth it, but fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> He's dead. Damien has painted SS fuck on the side of the rocket in blood. Alright, son. Are you ready to get punched? Too bad, because we're coming to... Who the fuck? You want me to watch that? Yeah. Stop right there, evildoer. I don't care. <laughs> Stop right there, evildoer. Oh, great. It's the good grade br brigade. Come to shit in the punch bowl. What do you nerd? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> nerd. <laughs> to put it in... To put an end your... No that sentence makes no sense. To put an end your... No Isn't it to your... No whatever. To put an end to your nefarious scheme, of course. Of course. We'll admit to being a bit surprised that a mere secondary character turned out to be this season's big bad secondary character. 
but to fly into space itself and tear on delivering a deadly blow to the very sun, giver of life, banisher of darkness. It is a plan to truly be fitting the climax of our mid-season arc. You must be stopped. What are the what? <laughs> what the dog dick are you guys? This is so bright. What are you guys talking about? I just want to punch the sun because the sun is dumb. <laughs> and to prove to Scott that I'm the ultimate warrior. We will not be fooled. We know your true motives, and we will not rest until you are defeated. I do not have time for this shit. Slum, <laughs> can you get rid of these dweebs? I do it, but the police say I've already exceeded my murder quota for the week. No way are you, no way are you letting these witches get, oh, the witches get between you and your spicy red man crush. Hey, Chris. Fuck off, man. You have a spicy Fuck red the man. Fuck off. <laughs> what to do? <laughs> Fuck, I'm gonna. Forging an elaborate skull, proving their mission to punch the sun as part of an ancient and righteous quest, and knowing fools the sun was a big bad all along. I don't know, it's hard to say. Nope. Fuck it, I don't want him. Yeah, but that charming also works on Polly. Nah, I forgot. I gotta get out of this situation. Oh, one at a time. I, see, it's, I, think you're, <laughs> I think you're dating Damien. I don't think you realize it. <laughs> Which one's Damien? This one! The guy in Thanos' locker. <laughs> oh, I see what you're trying to do. Damien gives you a knowing wink. Oh no. Oh yeah, guys, the sun is the fucking worst. Have you seen the way it helps, it helps plants grow? I mean, fuck plants, alright? Uh, <laughs> and it's always revealing my position before I could sneak up on someone and stab them to death. If that's not evil, I don't know what is. Yeah, I think it's pretty apparent that you don't know what evil is. You don't know what evil is. I'm a demon. I'm literally from hell. I'm evil as shit. You're doing an extremely bad job of convincing us you're not the big bad. I am the big bad. I'm the biggest bad. I punch puppies and my dick is huge. <laughs> All right. Fuck. This is your boyfriend. I'm fuck this story to that sentence again. Right. Okay. You're not getting anywhere near that spaceship. Oh, come on. What did I say? You're sure Damien will find a way to blame you for this eventually. So you get out while you can. You lose minus two charm. Minus you are not doing hot. Fuck it. All right. What's the worst case scenario? Based on how early you would die during... I don't know. Huh? How early we would die. A zombie? Uh, I, of course we like to say we live forever, but let's be realistic right now. I have a sword. I have guns. And I'm sure I could go steal... Well, yeah, but guns attract zombies, We too. don't fucking know that. But, I mean, okay. I live, we we're, both we're, live we're going close by, to a graveyard. Let's, let's go by Walking Dead standards. Okay. We know guns attract zombies. Loud noises attract zombies. I have a sword already. I have a barn loft. But what if we survive together? So I, I, th I think would... we're gonna have to random this. Yeah. It's long. Fuck serious. This is fucked. <laughs> I'm getting fucked in the ass by big dick. <laughs> by your big red dick. <laughs> oh, My dick is here. <laughs> All right. I know where I'm going. Fuck you. As you approach Scott and Miranda's table, you see that the entire table is covered in exotic silverware. I'm assuming I'm already dating. Oh, that's cute. Ooh, what's. No, wait, you gotta voice him now, because I voiced a girl. Ooh, what's this one for? Well, also, the mic is not over there. <laughs> Ooh, what's this one for? That's the forking spoon. <laughs> it's a spoon for picking up your forks. That's. No. So that you don't have to touch them with your fingers. And that one. That's the tuning fork. It's for making sure all your other silverware is tuned to A minor, as is proper. I don't like this. What about this one? That's the dairy knife. It's for milk. I didn't get me one of those. Whoa, do people invent new silverwares? All the time, but none of them are any good. It would take a genius of true subtlety to approve on the existing canon. Well, with my four creativity. <laughs> A genius of true subtlety. Genius and subtlety are your middle fucking names. You suggest the ultimate new civil war. <clears throat> I'm just, it's obvious. A harp for salad? Why has no one thought of this before? Because it's hard to eat a salad with a harp. Shut up, Scott. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Cretan, you said anything about eating. Isn't that what civil war is made for? Perish the thoughts. The true purpose of silverware is to give your hands something to do while you elegantly avoid your food. I know. I know. 
and nothing is more elegant than playing a subtle lament on a harp while your servants eat your salad for you. Um, you know, I'll just eat my salad over here. <laughs> First of all, I'm not a fucking rabbit. <laughs> my servants <laughs> finished my lunch for me. I'm Fuck off to have a harp commission. Miranda takes her harp shopping with her. Takes you harp shipping. Oh, it is a dick. <laughs> it's a real bonding experience. Afterwards, you both ignore salad together at a fa- One. Mm. Why? Secondly, why? Uh, meanwhile, back at the ranch. <laughs> meanwhile, get fucked in the ass. In fact, we got there. Go to where? Go to get. Go. Yeah. They're both over there. This girl looks cute. But I think it's a girl. I told you when I started out. <laughs> if things don't go right, she'll always be there to open her legs. Well, let's see. Cause right now, Damien's. Fuck <laughs> Damien. He's not there. <laughs> you find Vera and Polly at the table, deep in conversation. Our voice there. All right. What, what she is. Oh no. Oh, no, I can't do it. Do it, do it. No, I can't do it. All right, business idea. People pay a monthly subscription to prevent. Vampire one. No, because that was. Arr, arr. It's the same I boat. don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna do a um. <clears throat> All right, so I had to mute the mic real fast because technical issues. <clears throat> I can't, I can't, I'm, yes, I'm, can. I'm not like who will not be, I'm not like AR, I can't do a bad, like a, <laughs> all right, business idea, people pay, <laughs> a, people pay a monthly subscription to prevent me from drugging their food, yeah, hey, boo-boo, <laughs> business idea, people pay me a monthly Is subscription. Is your ideal girl just going to have a country voice? Is that what you've been looking for? <laughs> no. <laughs> to put drugs in their food. Business idea. Put, put, put price out the cafeteria's current food supplier by selling plastic food. That's not. <laughs> Yo, business idea. Nipples. Yuck. Just nipples. Yeah. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Business idea. Use clever marketing and food science to create the perfect new diet craze and sell it for an insane profit. Huh? That's actually a good, really good idea. I lost him. That's actually a really good idea. Better than nip? Well, I don't know. Unless, I they're, unless they're white pepperonis. Oh, fuck, Charles. <laughs> <laughs> Just, you're not my brother. Uh, okay, I'm going to actually cut that part out. That what? part never. No. Why? <laughs> that is awful. All right. <laughs> I probably won't, actually. Yes, we just... Yeah. <laughs> Yes, we just need to figure out what our new diet product will be. Tapeworms. They're gluten-free, dairy-free, 100% organic, and you could get them for free from sick cow. Mess, it's what for long. I, you know, considering these two girls, it's hard to tell, actually. I want to say this is her. Yay. You're welcome. Unlike you, who screwed me over earlier. Fuck. Oh, yeah. You know it's just complaining to others. Why are you carrying around the tampon with you? It's like over there. <laughs> He's just uh, <laughs> waving around. <laughs> ah. Anyway, <laughs> the other day, that I made way more math than I could ever do myself. <laughs> Jeez, fuck sakes. I'm back in. The profit margin will be incredible. The prob I can't do Yogi Bear anymore, so I'm just gonna- Yo, boo boo! The, the problem is the name. <laughs> meth has a really terrible reputation. You need to rebrand. Boo boo. You mean come up with a new name like Skinny Fun Powder? <laughs> or probably <laughs> not, man. This is fun. Skinny Fun Powder. Yes, except not either of those. <sighs> oh, oh, harder. I, oh, Jesus Christ. I, I, I know I've got the perfect name. Don't say nipples. Oh, my God. B- oh, this is totally the girl for you. Kill me. <laughs> But it turns out nipples is the perfect name for a drug you want to sell to high school students. Well, Polly makes a killing and drug dealing turns to be a very romantic bonding experience for the two of you. With Polly. Okay, got it. So you're good. Okay, let's see what it is. Everybody choosing an animal. Okay, I got it. I already know. I know. Alright. Three, two, one. Kangaroo. Oh, they're both from Australia. This is gonna be <laughs> Draw another shrimp on the bobby. <laughs> that shrimp on the bobby. Play a how cute a video where a charming cat becomes friends with a koala would be way cuter than a kangaroo. Come on, dude. You can't uh, disagree with that. <laughs> hey, Siri. What? Are you really going to ask what's cuter? She says I'm right. We don't have time she to discuss this. The source testing environment for optimization and linear 
algebra solvers. Would you like to hear more? Hey Siri. Do you want to suck my ass? I'm gonna put a con I'm gonna put a pause on this. Alright, we're back. Sorry, we had to take a quick break. Um so yeah, I think koalas are cuter than kangaroos. So. I reckon. Okay, we're getting close to prom though. We're there. Alright. Alright. I've been outdoors. I don't know if I should go to the bathroom if my girl will be there. Yeah, let's go to the bathroom. Whoa, what the? That day you skip class and just hang out in the bathroom because you respect no authority. What kind of a monster am I? Respect my authority. <laughs> respect my authority. On the way there, you run into Mimi, the Oni girl. She offers you some of her weird Japanese energy. She ran for you take girl. a sip. It tastes crazy as hell. What did you even say? You need to check the constant contents of the shit. Guarana seed extract, benzic acid, 50 milligrams of caffeine, and 100 milligrams of boldness. Well, if it wasn't that bad, you gain plus two boldness, thank Mamimi, and proceed to the bathroom. You see Miranda. Yes. You see Miranda hovering in the hallway, whistling to herself and checking out her reflection in her own scales. Why, hello there, Marty. How funny and random to see you here entirely by coincidence near your locker. Stop. Seeing as I mean, fuck. If she's my girlfriend, I'll take it. Seeing as how we've been getting on so well lately, I just decided to afford you the honor and privilege of taking me to the seahorse races. Well, it's a date today. You can pick me up after school today and bring me an assortment of flowers and chocolates as a gift. You're welcome. Oh man, chance to buy shit for Anna, take her on an outing, have no her on an outing you have no interest in. Sounds amazing. Let's rock. You go to the horse races and look for Miranda. I apparently I'm still at the bathroom. She's wearing a beautiful and intricate horse race hat. Unfortunately, a sudden ghost blows the hat away. Hashtag Dodge City. You, you could swear that you could hear the wind whispering, not enough budget, bro. Surely it must have been your imagination. Yeah, I have four dollars. No, my hat. Hey, Marty, I'm here. Hi, look at this. Daddy always gives me money when I go see her. God damn it. I go see her. It isn't much, of course, but only, but it's, what? <laughs> but only, what? <laughs> Three million money, but it should still make things more fun to bet. Of course, nothing would sour this lovely day faster than picking a losing horse. God damn it, no. <laughs> No. <laughs> so I'll put this dancing choice entirely on you. How should Let me you take care of this. this no. No, this is me. This is my girlfriend. I need to be a big boy. How should we choose the, how should we choose cool? the winning seahorse so that this day goes down in memory as a pleasurable experience rather than a sign that we should never speak again? Yeah, it's no pressure then. Oh, that was in her voice, my man. But no worries. You know the perfect method for choosing winning race to yours. Ah. Yeah, do it. No, cause this is not her. She is classy. Fuck. Fine. I um, I have to. I I just, I have to. God damn it! By taste. I told you. Yes, of course. Daddy always says I have excellent taste in things, and I'm paying my servants to agree. So why should I have anything less than great taste in tasting horse? Let's go. You and Miranda sneak down the stable where the racy horses and our captain told you, man. You, have, the you, want you start a fire and go about delicately ass. grilling in every seahorse to perfection. Miranda pulls out the fancy color. Why are yours so easy? Your questions are simple. Of course you have to say that was the easiest one. No, you, it wasn't. You grew by this dick. That's pretty much what it was. I, I would not She's say that to a dripping goo. I would not say that to a she normal dripping gay. Goo. I would not say that on a Normal date to a girl. What? I would not. I would not say those words, but I would just like, you know. Yeah, but not at the in public. She always carried out. around the two of you. Begin at the life. Ooh, most excellently romantic sapphire tastes a little like starry and cream and sunshine. Yeah, Grand Slam pre four thousand tastes like dirt. Definitely not. A, we are eating them. My goodness, little perfect pixie sunburst jumbotron tastes like just like raw fit. Truly delicacy in my kingdom. This will be the lead and see what's inside. You and Miranda put all of the combined. Oh my god, I like it. It's not until you've taken me since that you realize your bets are meaningless. There's no race, you mean all the seal. Oh no, you ruined the entire race. I was looking forward to it. Not because I need the money, but just because I like triumphing over peasants. Now you're taking that away from me. You're a horrid day. You're ruined. God damn it! I told you. Miranda's starting to leave you to contemplate how you could have any possible thought killing on the girl out any Hold down low. Long. I won't make that mistake. I hope I got a guy trying to put it in my ass. You, you do. I hope you know. I hope you know. A guy wants to put it in your ass. Anyway, where are you going? Let's go. Right, yeah. <laughs> Yo. That day during recess, you start a half hour rave. This is literally what I did. 
talk to you're talking to Juan the small and magical Latino you know, no that's different when he tells you that you won't be ever as fun as Bob the scary clown that part is different you accept the challenge you go straight to Bob stab him several times open his bleeding chest and eat some of his guts in order to consume his fun really do you think that's how this works well it is you gain plus two fun from what but none of that matters because tonight you're going on a date with Polly to the casino Yo, plot twist, I beat you. This is not a competition, this is if we get our dates. We're not competing to see what Bad happens. Bad love choices, Rick, and addiction, and getting fucked up. <laughs> anyway, hold on, let's end it there. Yeah, I'm going to say it because I stopped the time. All right, next time, we'll finally finish this. All right, thanks for joining Speaking us. Bye. I hope I get a date. Well, I only have but one choice.